Farmers now have more opportunities to develop a profitable business thanks to technological advancement. Small farms earning less than $50,000 per year or occupying less than 180 acres are now viewed as potentially profitable rural and urban business opportunities. Most profitable small farms ideas you should know before starting a farm. It's not easy to run and maintain a profitable small farm. You do get to be your own boss and create your own schedule, in theory, but this usually translates into meeting buyer demands and dealing with fluctuating market conditions, all while waking up at the crack of dawn and sleeping late at night. In other words, your life as a farmer is a lot less glamorous than it may seem on Instagram and more physically demanding than it may appear to those who aren't in the industry. After all, a farm is still a business with the same rules as any other, plus some additional farm-specific responsibilities. However, the best part is that there are plenty of ways to expand your current operations and generate additional small farm income. Farming and agrarian lifestyles, for example, are gaining popularity, particularly among nature-deprived city dwellers and desk job toilers. That right there is a potential market to tap into. Furthermore, as consumer tastes change and evolve, you have the opportunity to pivot towards new small farm business ideas, even if you only have a small amount of land. Microgreens. Microgreens are the stage of a plant after it has sprouted, but before it becomes a baby green and begins to grow into fully grown vegetables. One of the best parts, they only take a couple of weeks to grow and are high in nutrition and flavor. Microgreens, like mushrooms, are a crop that doesn't require a lot of space to get started. You can start growing microgreens on a small scale in your basement or glass house with just a couple of trays. Then, as your confidence and demand for your product grow, you can scale up your business. For ideas, look no further than your own super simple microgreens farm. Once they have grown into their full potential, you can then sell them at farmers markets or to customers directly. Chefs also enjoy using them as a garnish as well as an ingredient in their dishes. Microgreens are an excellent way for a small scale farm to grow something in the winter when many other crops cannot be grown due to the cold. Growing hops for small brewing companies. Consider growing hops for local breweries if you're looking for small acreage farming ideas. With the explosion of craft beer in nearly every corner of the country, there's a lot of beer being brewed and a lot of hops that must be used in the process. The good news is that growing hops does not require a lot of space. Hop vines grow extremely densely, allowing for planting of approximately 1,200 plants per acre of land. Furthermore, you can grow a variety of hops such as the common cascade or centennial hop, as well as a variety of other non-proprietary hop varieties. However, there is one caveat. Hop plants yield more after a few seasons, so don't expect a massive harvest. That isn't all bad news because many hop growers work on long-term contracts, which means they'll buy all of the upcoming season's yields a year or two in advance. As a result, this is a small farm business idea that can pay off not only for now, but also in the future. Herb Gardening A variety of herbs are particularly well-suited to year-round container gardening. Consider the following herbs and the benefits they will bring to your garden. Basil is available in almost every store across the country and is always in high demand. Because of its lightweight but large packaging volume, it is best grown locally to save money on shipping. This has the potential to make small local farms profitable and competitive enough to make it into supermarket chains. Sage is a lovely evergreen with oval leaves that look like flat top sage brushes. The dark purple flowers bloom in clusters, followed by the tasty leaves. Use this herb to flavor poultry and stuffing as well as soups, stews, and other dishes. Oregano is another dark green herb that looks good most of the year. Its small leaves and tall purple flowering spikes make it an excellent garden accent. Dried oregano leaves can be used to enhance the flavor of a variety of dishes. Marjoram, also known as sweet marjoram, is a popular herb to grow in gardens because it can be grown all year in the right glasshouse environment and is unaffected by most weather conditions. The deep green leaves look like crinkly ferns and the small white flowers and seed pods add a nice touch to any garden. A combination of these herbs, each of which adds a unique flavor or characteristic to a meal, will provide you with a wide range of flavors. Fish farming. Fish farming is an excellent business idea for investors with available land and it does not always necessitate the presence of a body of water. You can start a fish farm by building ponds or purchasing fish tanks. It is a highly scalable business idea. You will be able to choose from the type of fish you want to raise once you have a thorough understanding of fish raising. Fish, such as tilapia, cod, and catfish are popular options because they are relatively easy to raise and are in high demand. Small scale farms are the most common sources of fish in local supermarkets and restaurants. The choice of which fish to raise will ultimately be determined by your skill, financial capacity, market demand, and agroclimatic conditions. This refers to the typical soil types, rainfall, temperature, and water availability, all of which influence the type of vegetation in the area. Permaculture. Permaculture farming is a method of farming that is based on sustainability. It abandons harmful commercial agriculture practices such as monoculture, annual
manual tilling and other farming methods that can cause soil erosion, as well as the use of pesticides. Permaculture is a long-term cultural system based on observation of nature. It's all about working with nature rather than against it. Natural principles are incorporated into agriculture processes in order to create self-sufficient, self-abundant systems that benefit both humanity and the environment. Permaculture is all about thinking in terms of whole systems and understanding how various parts of the agricultural process interact with one another. Permaculture is divided into three main areas, caring for the earth because humans cannot thrive without the earth, caring for people, and ensuring people have the resources they require. Educational farm. Hands-on learning is essential for children, and establishing an educational farm can aid in this development. Consider starting an educational farm where you can give tours, classes, and seminars about your farm's animal and agriculture and encourage groups to get up close and personal with farm life. You can even go a step further and offer students the opportunity to learn on your farm during the summers or during their school breaks. If you decide to build an educational farm, keep in mind that you must notify institutions of learning that you are providing these services. Similarly, this small farm concept makes the most sense for farms that are in close proximity to primary schools. Dual crop farming. Dual cropping, also known as multiple cropping, can be mixed cropping or intercropping. Mixed cropping is the cultivation of two or more types of crops in the same area, whereas intercropping is the cultivation of different crops in close proximity. Dual crop farming is popular among farmers because it maximizes the use of equipment, soil, and water as well as farming supplies. It also maximizes the production of a small farm all year. Farmers like it because it reduces the risk of total loss due to natural disasters, drought, pests, and diseases. Growing strawberries and watermelons in Florida is an example of multiple cropping, as is growing wheat and soybeans alongside corn and canola in the Carolinian region. Urban farming. You don't have to live in the country to start your own small-scale farm. Growing, processing, and distributing foods in cities and urban areas is known as urban farming. It can include growing fruits and vegetables, beekeeping, and keeping animals such as chickens or goats. If you want to start an urban farm, the first thing you should do is check with your city to see what their municipal bylaws say about different types of agriculture in your area. Some cities may allow you to convert your entire front garden into raised beds or raise chickens in your backyard. In others, you may face a hefty fine. So before you start, make sure that any small-scale farm ideas that you have are legal in your city. Urban farming is all about making the most of your available space. You can begin by growing food in your own garden, and you can eventually expand and begin growing on other plots in your area. Many homeowners are willing to let urban farmers rip up their unused backyard grass and turn it into a productive farm. Some may require a monetary fee for renting their property, whereas others may allow you to use their land in exchange for a weekly basket of fresh produce during your growing season. Beekeeping. Bees are important because they not only produce honey, but also pollinate many of the crops we consume on a daily basis, including the ones you might be growing. With continued bee colony collapse and a significant decline in bee population, saving the bees is critical for our ecosystem. However, this environmentally friendly endeavor can also be a profitable small farm business idea. Beekeeping can provide a number of different revenue streams. First, honey and beeswax-based products can be sold in a farm store or online. Many local businesses may be interested in carrying your products as well. However, you can capitalize on educational opportunities. Importantly, because hives don't take up a lot of space, beekeeping is a great option for small acreage farms. The rise of urban beekeeping, in which people keep entire hives on their building roofs, is proof of this. And there you have it, some of the most profitable small farm ideas.